welcome to William Beach High School. Today we have a special report on homophobia in schools. A survey shows that out of a thousand LGBT students, over 50% of them have been homophobically bullied. 95% of high school teachers heard the word gay being used as a derogatory term. Two out of every five victims of homophobic bullying attempt or contemplate suicide. Why is this an issue? Last year, there were over 5,500 recorded cases of homophobic bullying, which is a rise in 22% from previous years. To combat the bullying, members and supporters of the LGBT community are marching together in pride parades, a celebration of people being who they are. In Britain, people are allowed to march freely. However, in Russia, anyone who comes out as being gay will be prosecuted and they can even be sent to prison. Here at Williamwood, we do not put up with homophobia and we have anti-bullying committees set up to help fight against the prejudice. A few of our first years have put together a short drama on how they believe that bullying occurs. You don't need to be so mean to her. Hey, you have nothing to do with it, just stay out of it. What's going on? Why are you shouting? I'm not shouting. You see that new guy over there? Oh yeah, that guy, yeah. <laughs> Freak. Hello. Look at his face. He's so weird. His look haircut. Him. Yeah. Oh. Is his Instagram profile. He has Instagram. Yeah. Look. Oh, let's see, let's see. Look at these. Look at these photos. He's so weird. <laughs> Kyle, you're late again. Come and sit down. We're doing maths, and I need to see what we done last time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. Let's try to idea over there. Watch this. Ah. Ah. Stop. Go on. Go on. Hit the. Ah, stop. Ah. Kyle, what are you doing? All three of you out. Come on, miss. Not me. Every time. What are you doing? Hurry up. What's your opinion on LGBT, Katrina? Um, I think people should be who they want to be, and if that involves liking someone their own gender or someone that's like changed gender or something like that, then they can do that. That's completely up to them. And it's I find it disgusting that some people say they should be burned. Because that's just them. That's like saying you should get burned for having burned hair. Definitely. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, Sally and Courtney. Those drama performances were great. And now we have a few questions to some involved in the William Wood community. Do you feel upset when you hear of this bullying happening? Yes, uh, it's one of the hardest things to deal with as a teacher when you see other kids being bullied, especially in the classroom. Why do you think this bullying occurs? I'm not sure, I think there's a lot of factors, but uh, a lot of it is not seen and it's maybe um, cyberbullying and stuff that teachers maybe don't see all the time and, and can't really deal with. Now we're interviewing Miss Harkins about bullying in school. Uh, what have you been doing about bullying? Me and the Anti-Bullying Committee have been doing a lot of things in the school to try and raise awareness of bullying. So we made and sold anti-bullying wristbands for everyone to wear to show that they were against um, bullying. We had an anti-bullying video, um, PSE lessons and a play for the first years about this. What inspired you to get involved? I just think um, bullying is such an important issue. Only bad things can come of bullying and I think a lot of bullying behaviour can sometimes not be recognised or people maybe don't realise that it is actually bullying behaviour and I think that's why it's really important that we all raise awareness of it. We just wanted to say that there's always a way to combat bullying and there's always people you can talk to and support groups you can go to. It's just a matter of getting them in every single school. Thanks for watching.